Hi there. In this episode of Kermie's Travels, we're off to the Kortha Highlands with our friends Dave and Linda and their son Cameron and his friend Callum. Our starting point is the Bottle Lake Access Point. We're making our way to Sucker Lake, Site 122, for a two-night stay in the park. There's a short 218-meter portage from the Bottle Lake parking lot to the actual put into Bottle Lake. We hope you enjoy seeing some of our adventures and experience some of the park's beauty and tranquility through our video. Pay attention to this, cause it's not the right. I, 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 I. Anyway, we'll see you later. <laughs> you want to set yours down beside it, or? Um, well, yeah, we'll set it down, but there any rocks behind? Uh, you're okay behind you. Those are the only two rocks that are in front of you. Yeah, there's rock uh, right where you are stepping, okay, and that's it. Yeah, that one's a nice pack. It's not bad, but uh, yeah, mine. There they are. Yeah, they can't carry it. It's too heavy for them. Oh. oh. You okay? Uh, we're doing little breaks. Do you want me to take it? Uh, oh, someone. Oh, little break. Well, you'll have to wait it's for heavy. me anyway. Okay. Because I have to get my. Yeah. So you can. It's heavy because all the stuff that's been loaded. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Onward we go, boys. Oh, watch out for that room. Oh, I'm coming to you. Isn't it? I just like green. Big room. Oh, careful, careful. Whatever. Watch out, careful. Rock. Slow. Rock, 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 rock. Okay, okay. we're going to another room there, too. <laughs> All right, I'll see you at the up there. No cukes. I'm going back for the second room. about to head out. Um, Glenn's just attaching our camera and Linda's right there loading up the kids, Cameron and Callum. And their pack is over there where Dave is. Hey, so we're gonna head out. This is Bottle Lake and we're headed, headed to Sucker Lake. Oh. And gonna have some peace and quiet <sighs> for four days. 
Yes. So, we'll see you in a while. Yeah. Signing out. and uh, it's an 80 meter portage but uphill so we're going to bypass a beaver dam and then we get into Sucker Lake after that yeah it's really nice quiet of course with Cameron and Cam enjoying themselves hey. Bottle, no, where are we now? Sucker. We're on Sucker Lake. Sucker. And uh, <laughs> um, on our second portage, we had to do two loads. That's our gear. And that's Linda and Dave's gear with big giant barrel. Barrel and there. This is our barrel. Okay. Whew. And why do we do this, Linda? Because we love it. <laughs> it's good exercise. Good exercise. And the boy, the boy child will come to love it. Yes. The girl child does no. not. Ah. She's heading to our campsite now past this island here. It's so quiet. We're the only ones on the lake. Ah, just beautiful. Glenn is just bailing out the canoe of Dave. Dave had a little bit of a kapapal and tip. Uh, Linda's out. She's got the barrel there on the island. And Dave got the, uh, the kayak of the kids. Uh, Ty had to swim to the island. 
uh, when they tip in the glands help when they bail out the it's this just apple just tipped <laughs> an adventure we will never forget so they're just bailing out their, their canoe tie and to the shore as a smart dog would when you tip and we're just waiting till they get their balance back and we have Dave's hat here and his shoes and paddle here. Kids are good. Did you guys find my crop too? It's here. It's with me. Okay. Yep. Well, fortunately, the only casualty out of that spill was Dave's cell phone. So we packed them all up, got them back in their canoe, and we went for the five minute canoe ride to our campsite. Private, so quiet. No one's here. Dun, 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 dun. Can we beach in there? Or? No beach there. So that's it. Have to Maybe we can take a look. Super big. Um, lots of uh, inspiration pictures for sure um, for painting. Still don't know where we're gonna set up tent, but we can set up tent anywhere really. Um, it's nice and nice in here for sure. Gosh, it's a beautiful woodland here. Wow. So beautiful. And there's still more there. We can go for a hike tomorrow, I don't know. Um, yeah. So lots of lots of inspiration pictures here for sure. Lots of old um, dead trees here, which could be for firewood. Yeah, so wouldn't be a problem starting a fire tonight. Yeah, so I think we may set up camp. I think Linda and Dave and Cameron will set up there. And I think we'll set up right here. So, whew, very nice. Um, just doing a walk through here. Uh, we have a sign <laughs> which is going to our thunder box. So it looks like we may be going uphill. Because usually thunder box is high up. So let's walk to it. Aha, I see the next sign up there. another sign so I'm on the right path oh boy lots of beautiful inspirational pictures here
Yeah. So, there's the next. Aha! I see it now. It's right there. Thunderbox. Ta da! There we are. Good. Away from the maddening crowd. <laughs> Where we can do our business. Yeah. Okay. I'll catch you guys later. Making dinner. Making dinner. So we're gonna have um, rice tonight. Rice. And we're gonna cook it on our Coleman. Vegetables. We're gonna have vegetables. And chicken kebabs. Chicken kebabs. Yay! They're still frozen. Yay! And they've started a fire. And I'm trying to keep everything um, alive and awake. Sun is setting, it's kind of nice. It's about uh, almost seven now. The lake is calm. And the boys are looking for a place to hang our barrels for the evening. So let me see if I can find them. barrels because and we want them at least a hundred feet away from our campsite um, just to be safe and also to protect uh, wildlife right so there they are the lake. Yeah, hi guys oh don't take photos oh, no. <laughs> here they are the jumping poles <laughs> that's the high end games <laughs> this is the the, the hammer throw. The hammer throw. On light. <laughs> you gotta throw it over the top of this. Street! Oh, oh Glenner. So I can't do it because uh, my rotator cuff beat. <laughs> oh. That was really close. Though. That was the best we've done. Well, done. It just slowed down. You clicked it. Yeah, this is more than 100 feet away, so oh. that's gonna be good. There you go. Okay, Woo! Now be careful. It's pulled back. So. That's cool. Get off of that tree. Okay, come down. Yes, yes. Gonna bind you, bastard. Come on, you <laughs> bastard. Bind Show you. your Scottish accent. Wait, wait, wait for a second. Let Dave do it. <laughs> this doesn't require one, Dave. I want it off that branch. Oh. There's a little teeny stick on that branch. Ah! Found it. Well. Oh. Maybe I gotta go there further. No, I, I like the spot. Me too, it's strong. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Let's begin again. Well, look out, Marissa. Go the other way under. Oh no! Oh, no it no. got caught on itself. Uh oh. Okay. It's got to be close. One it's more not, time. It's not strong enough. Mm. There, that'll work. Oh, that's a nice branch. Yeah, but I got it stuck in those fucking cedars. That's okay. Let's see what we can do. Here we are. Drunken stumble. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Come to Papa. Damn, where's my ladder? <laughs> it's coming. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I can see it. I can see it. Go for the light. Yay. Okay. Hooray. We win. We win. That's a good strong spot, spot too. So. Good. So now. Just tie this up. Oh, you want to put a rope to it first? Put my uh, my pulley rope on it. Hold at the branch. And now what we're going to do is attach a rope to the pulley so that when we bring the pulley back up in the air, we can attach the pulley rope and pull the bag up through the pulley. Nice. Yes, and Glenn's going to create a great big old knot. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't pull tight. <laughs> You have to spread it this. Yeah. Whose rope is that? This is Glenn's. Um, this is the one we took past now. The, 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 all the rope here right now is Glenn's. Oh. It's pretty strong. Or yeah. yours. You didn't, you uh, didn't. I, what I found out of experience is that the more leverage sideways you get on the rope, yeah. the, the, the higher it is. Yeah. yeah. And, and look, it there's so up, much space here yes. too. You'll never be able to. So, what we do. So put this on there. Around the pulley, of course. This is our load side. Jeez. And then Dave can pull it back up. You want me to pull it back up for now? Yeah. Are we going to put the barrels up right away? Yeah. No, uh, not right away. No. Just don't lose your end. Yeah. No, I've already tied it. Get your foot on it? I've tied it. To well, actually, do I have to tie a knot in something? No, just leave it right there, and then that's just, that's where we'll leave it until we tie it. Okay, until we're ready. Our food. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna eat first. We tie this end off to a tree, and this is the pulling end, and then we put our load on there and walk over there. And Perfect. We walk all the way up. That's neat. No, there's so much space. What's the mechanical advantage of a pulley? Four to one? Two to one? Well, when you're pulling at a 90, yeah. it's 50 to one. Or, sorry, it's 50%. Yeah. So you're, it's like you're pulling 500 pounds, only weighs 250. So if we're pulling up our barrels at 100 and something yeah. pounds, it's like 50 pounds. Right. So that was kind of cool. Now we're heading back to the campsite. Sun setting nicely, so I'm gonna have some beautiful sunset shots. Kind of excited about that. Haven't done a sunset uh, painting in a while, so it'll be good. Aha, Linda's taking some pictures. And. Here. We started the wall. All the things cooling off. The fire has to get started again.